Hot news update Coronavirus April 10, 2020. Note, this is a collaborative video made between Travel for All Fantasy and Knowledge of Coronavirus channel. Please respectfully welcome everyone. The following is the remarkable news most on April 10 as follows. 1. Follow Dr. Anthony Fossey, director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases of U.S., said that antibody tests for the novel coronavirus could be available within a week or so. Having antibodies to the coronavirus could mean someone is protected from getting reinfected, making such tests important for medical workers and others on the front lines fighting the pandemic. It estimated that 60,415 in the U.S. would die of coronavirus by August, assuming social distancing policies continue through May. That projection is down from the 82,000 it predicted earlier this week. 2. Tracking COVID-19 cases in the U.S. Last updated April 10, 2020 at 8.45 a.m. ET. Since January, novel coronavirus has spread to nearly every state and territory of U.S. The total number of infected people in the U.S. has been 466,299 number of deaths, 16,686. New York has become the epicenter of the country's outbreak, with 161,807 confirmed cases and 7,067 deaths so far. When adjusted for population, that translates to roughly 832 known cases and 36 deaths for every 100,000 residents. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo of the United States on April 10 said the number of COVID-19 hospitalized patients had plummeted over the past 24 hours when only 200 people were hospitalized. Mr. Cuomo said this was the lowest level since the outbreak of the disease in the country and emphasized that it was the clearest evidence of the effectiveness of social separation measures in New York. Four. An official announcement from the Prime Minister's office on 10 April indicates that Mr. Johnson was removed from the intensive care unit on the afternoon of April 9 after three nights staying here. Until now, Mr. Johnson is the top national leader infected with a new coronavirus. The British Prime Minister confirmed the infection on March 27 but said he would quarantine and work from afar. On April 5, Mr. Johnson was admitted to the hospital for a serious illness. 5. News of Italy. The country has recorded more than 12,600 health workers infected, more than 100 died. AFP News Agency on April 9 citing a statement from the Italian Association of Doctors and Dentists, Financio, said the number of doctors who died from COVID-19 in Italy had increased to more than 100. Among them are retired doctors, but they return to the hospital to save people in response to a government call. Italian media also estimated that about 30 nurses and support nurses also died in the battle with COVID-19. There are still no official figures on the number of cases of doctors and medical staff in Italy. 6. Kyoto asks the Japanese government to declare a state of emergency. According to Kyoto News Agency, the leadership of Kyoto Prefecture and the city of Kyoto in western Japan on April 10 asked the central government to put the province in a state of emergency because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Kyoto Governor Nishiwaki Takatoshi said Kyoto was facing a serious situation like Tokyo and six other provinces which declared a state of emergency on this April 7. According to Kyoto News Agency, Japan Sumo Association, JSA, today April 10 announced that a first sumo boxer was positive for the new strain of coronavirus. According to NHK, Japan, by the end of April 9, Japan had 5,548 people infected, of which 108 died. 7. Sad celebrations around the world in 2020 because of COVID-19. 
According to AFP, the pilgrimage sites during the Easter season in the Middle East, Europe and Asia are all deserted on Good Friday, April 10, though the annual atmosphere in these places is crowded and hustling. 8. Famous for the isolated life between the distant Amazon, the Yanomami tribe also could not avoid the SARS CoV 2 virus when the first positive case was recorded. According to The Guardian, the patient is a 15 year old boy who started showing signs of shortness of breath, chest tightness, and sore throat from April 3 to April 7, the official test for positive results. On Amazonia Real, Brazil, the Yanomami elders said that it was the fear cats of the yellow thief ward that transmitted coronavirus to their community, about 26,000 people. As of the morning of April 9, Brazil was the country most affected by the 19 of Ian COVID epidemic with 16,188 cases and 820 deaths. 9. Europe spent 550 billion euros in aid in COVID-19. According to the Associated Press, the governments of 19 countries that use the Euro-Euro common currency eventually overcame deep differences to reach an agreement on aid spending in the disease on April 9. COVID-19. Accordingly, the countries agreed to spend 550 billion euros to support companies, workers and the health system during the epidemic crisis. Mario Centeno, president of the Eurozone Group of Finance Ministers, described it as a completely unprecedented rescue package. 10. Korean News According to Reuters news agency, the city of Daegu, South Korea, today April 10, has not recorded any more cases the first time since the end of February. The number of new corona infections across the country also continues to decline. In the disease update this morning, April 10, according to the Korea Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, KCDC, the country recorded 27 new cases, a significant new daily low compared to the peak. Translated over 900 cases a day at the end of February. Daegu was the largest outbreak after China with at least 6,807 cases accounting for more than half of the total number of cases nationwide. Currently, Korea has a total of 10,450 cases of COVID-19, of which 208 deaths. 11. The number of new infections in China has decreased slightly. The National Health Committee of China, NHC, said on April 10 that by the end of April 9, mainland China had recorded 42 new cases, down from 63 on March 8. Among the new cases, there were 38 cases of imported ones, that is, those from abroad returning to China. The only April 9 death was recorded in Hubei province. The number of asymptomatic cases also increased to 1,097 in mainland China after finding 47 more cases on April 9. 12. Terminal 2 at Singapore's Changi Airport will be suspended for 18 months, starting on May 1, due to the effects of the COVID-19 epidemic, Tourism Authority of Singapore said. Before the COVID-19 outbreak, Changi Airport had seven routes connecting Singapore with three major cities of Vietnam including Da Nang, Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City through nearly 150 weekly flights. 13. Thailand adds 50 infections and one death. Thailand on April 10 announced an additional 50 cases of coronary infection and a 43-year-old female patient died from COVID-19. Of the newly added cases, 27 were associated with previous cases and 8 were still under investigated for where it became infected. Since the outbreak in January, Thailand has had a total of 2,473 cases, of which 73 have died and 1,013 have recovered. Phuket has become the first province in Thailand to impose a complete blockade that lasts 14 days from April 13 to limit the spread of the COVID-19 epidemic. 14. Spain currently has the second highest number of COVID-19 patients in the world after the U.S. with 157,022 cases. Next is Italy with 143,626 cases. The number of New York cases is higher than that of Spain and Italy. Authorities in the most severe epidemic areas today, the United States and Europe, have reported a small reduction in daily deaths and new infections in the coronavirus that cause acute respiratory infections. This data allows us to hope that the worst may be over. 15. 
France reported 50 cases on aircraft carrier slash on 10 April. The French Ministry of Defense confirmed that 50 members on the aircraft carrier Charles de Gaulle, the country's only aircraft carrier, were positive for the new strain of coronavirus. Three sailors were evacuated by plane to an army hospital in Toulon, southern France. A group of sailors was tested after the French Ministry of Defense found that about 40 people had symptoms suspected of COVID-19. It is known that the aircraft carrier Charles de Gaulle has 1,760 people serving on board. Currently some areas of the ship have been blocked. Our newsletter is now over. Thank you for always watching and supporting our videos. Knowledge of Coronavirus, Channel and Travel for All Fantas Respectfully and see you in the next video.